Good morning, folks. We've got a look at space weather, including a couple more eruptive events. We'll review the geophysical condition during the Jupiter alignment, volcano eruption, and an earthquake uptick. And we'll hit a paper on CME detection or lack thereof. The last 24 hours on the sun offered no significant solar flares. Minor filaments released, but most were around the limbs. Solar wind is currently calming back from the coronal hole stream, and geomagnetic conditions are nice and quiet. We still have several sunspot groups on the Earth-facing disk, several more filaments, but we continue to see the possibility that small CMEs have been released that don't show up well on SOHO. Middle of the day, the central active region had a nice little pop that may have put a little CME or shockwave into the Earth-directed solar wind. Again, SOHO is not showing much. We'll come back to that. Again, we need to watch towards the weekend here for solar wind disruptions. We had pointed this out about a week ago. Yesterday, the alignment of Earth, Sun, and Jupiter took place, and we had said that we were likely to see either solar or geophysical activity upticks. If you caught our special video yesterday afternoon, you know a big volcano erupted on the Kamchatka Peninsula of Russia. This is the sulfur dioxide mapping here from the Himawari satellite. Amazing release and plume of the blast and that eruption material is now heading across the North Pacific and will arrive over Alaska today. It will be streaming over to the east over the next several days with a chance to paint the evening skies and enhance albedo as it does so. Inches of ash fell on nearby villages. We are also seeing a slight uptick on the other side of the ocean, above average rate of rumbling in California here. Hopefully that does not materialize into anything more. Coming back to undetectable CMEs. Obviously the biggest ones are easy to spot, but this paper goes over how several CMEs are missed. This continues to be the case, especially with inconsistent observations and data downloads from the satellites. The scenario of potentially Earth-directed eruptions we won't see until they arrive in the solar wind is actually what we've got here over the coming days. Luckily, they should be minor. Folks, the next volume of Observer Review will be out in a couple days. This is probably the best way to support suspicious observers right now. And for those who sign up here before the April release, you will get the March issue sent to you within 24 hours and then also get the April issue when it is published here soon. Two for one. Link is below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. There's lots of other links below as well. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.